So, recording. Okay. Recording. And go. Great. Do you want to close that door so we don't have any sound in the background? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. You just got to be able to roll with it yeah, and make it happen. So, hey, Mark View here with uh, Simply Stated. I've got E. Williams here with me. How you doing? Great to meet you, E. You too. So this is a little uh, out of my league here. you got to kind of school me up on, <laughs> on what you're about. I'm, I'm, I don't know anything about rap. I will be honest and forthcoming and tell you, you you got to educate me. What, what are you about? All right, it, it's more hip-hop, R&B, you know? And No, I don't know. <laughs> so you can't say you know, because I, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm going to get you hip. I'm going to get you hip. All right, will you bring me up to speed, I'll please? I'll bring you up to speed. It, right. It's about my life and how things, uh, uh, you know, progressed in my life things that happen. This song is actually relating us to um, just, a, just a piece of me, you know? Sure. My well, struggles and how I got there. All right. Know? So do you, how many songs do you have? I actually have uh, 12. 12. <laughs> but this particular uh, one that uh, the project's based on, I guess. Is Our project's based on is just this one song called You Don't Know Me. Hey, you know what? I don't. And that's why we're yeah, having this that's discussion. That's why we're having this discussion. There you go. This is so <laughs> apropos. Yeah. All right. So what? So give me the inspiration for that. You, you kind of alluded to it a little bit. You no, know, I, I think it's more I think it's more uh, of my life, you know? My struggles and the struggles of being a musician and, and a singer and it's how people tell you no, you know? The, the more no's you get, like the harder the struggle it is to, to get to the top. But let me take you down a notch here. All right. And I'm going to challenge you okay. with a great question. Okay. You're singing a tune that everybody can sing. Everybody has struggles. Mm -hmm. What 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 makes you which makes your struggle unique? Are you coming out of the? Are you, can you see the light at the end of the tunnel? Is I that, can. Is, is that what? See different? the light at the end of the tunnel. You know, my struggle was more uh, poverty when I was younger. Okay. You know. Sure. And then as you progress and you get older, it's more the doors getting closed on you and people telling you or you have maybe you have like false advertisement somebody give you some false advertisement and you get run into managers who who say that they can take you to the promised land but they don't okay you know sure. so mine's more it's it's cool you know i'll take care of it you know i made it here by myself by the grace of god and i'm here oh i like that karma i like that uh, that's interesting that you throw that in there because a lot of people don't really this is not a religious show but you know, <laughs> most people don't recognize you know, there's, there's some other elements going yeah, on. Yeah, but I, I always believed in God since I was young. I've been singing since I was little, and it just, he's brought me here, you know? So you've alluded to this a little bit again, and I, I heard a little backstory earlier today about uh, some of the people that have kind of sent you down the Yellow Brook yeah, road, Brook that, Brook wasn't, road. that wasn't yellow. Yeah. Uh, give me a little uh, 411 on, on kind of the, the nasty on that. I would say, like, you run into managers and you get signed to labels and but when the labels are promising things that that they don't have and you have more connections than the labels it's pretty much basically like that sure and I mean I, I ran into it it's everywhere it's all over the world a lot of artists run into this they get promised something and they don't you know the the label don't come through or the managers don't come through or I'm really happy that I you know I, I've ran into a, a great group of people sure you know and they're willing to put in work just like me yeah so it, it must have been painful to get there though but it's a relief really, to get there a relief to get there right and yeah. you know I think you know that's that's a sad commentary on the entertainment industry as a whole mm -hmm. where you've got people promising the moon and you know nobody can get you to the next county that's true it, it, and I don't know what the fix is on that I don't I don't know what what that's about I don't know I don't know what there's not a fix on it there's more of a drive you know what I mean God gives you a drive in yourself that he tells you don't stop you know what sure, I mean? Sure. Most people, a lot of people give up, but this this game is is harsh. Oh, you know of the course. music game is treacherous to people. The, the odds but, are terrible. Yeah, I mean, but if, if the odds of success are. If you don't give up and you keep going, you keep pushing, you keep pushing. You know, God gives those everyone a chance of something that they truly love to do. You know, you always get a chance. God always works like that. So when was the real turning point for you? What what kind of time frame were we talking about that you kind of just turned the corner and said, okay, this is this is I'm going to take more control. You know. Of after my last encounter with a bad manager, you know, it's just kind of like, it, it, it's in me, you know. I, I wanted to stop like every other artist. I really wanted to quit and stop singing, you know. I'm so, okay, I'm, I'm done with this. I, I can give this up. I, I've done enough in my life that I feel like I've achieved something. But no, you know, that, that wasn't the case. I haven't, I didn't get there yet. There wasn't, that wasn't an achievement that I wanted. Sure. You know? Sure, you bet. So I have to keep pushing. I have to keep striving. And I mean, I'm sure everybody... Everybody has this, you know, but it's it's inside of you that what makes this what makes it different from me. It was inside of me that I had to take control of my own life 
and tell tell the world this is my story you know you bet you bet so is it uh, are you are you got a new album now is, is this I have an album coming out and um, this is our single we're, we're gonna come out with our single you don't know me as a single and I do have a new album coming out it's called apocalyptic love love as if you would die tomorrow Sure. And so it's going to be an awesome, awesome album. Nice. And we've been working really hard on it. I, all my producers and my managers, and we're working really, really hard. So are you uh, a full-service rapper? Do you dance as well? or? or well, I'm, I'm a, a rapper and a singer. I'm basically mostly a singer. You All know? right, sure. I sing better than I rap, so okay. Um, I, I try to do my part. You know, I try to get in. I try to do my whole uh, my own. All right. You know, I That's can't fair. let uh let the world run over me, but you know, I, I do everything I can. Sure, you bet. Well, so what kind of uh, advice can you give people that that are going down your track that might consider trying to be an artist mm -hmm. and kind of meet the same challenges that you did? What What would you tell them? What do you look out for? What are the red flags? Or you know, what 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 kind of advice can you give somebody to say? You know? I would tell them. I would tell them stay true to their heart. You know, this is something. If it's deep down in you and it's there, you know, it'll always be there for you. Let nobody tell you that you can't do anything in life. There's always a way to get there. There's always another way. And and keep pushing. And I know God will help you. That's cool. Hey, I appreciate meeting you. E. You too. Best of luck to you. Thank you. All right. This is Mark View with Simply Stated. We'll catch you later. Hmm.